The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Financial News Network 9 a.m. market update, and we're looking at the Dow futures up 41 points at 35,841. Very interesting because yesterday the Dow went to a new all time high, um, and that's going to be very important because within the context of new highs, we've got the Dow at a new high, you've got the SP, uh, the cash yesterday. Uh, close at a new high. Uh, the E-mini, I'll go to the continuous contract, is up again this morning, but it hasn't made, taken out yesterday's high. Um, it's very interesting because in, I'll talk about this in a moment when I come back. I'm going to be doing uh, Tommy Jr.'s uh, show, The This is the Market Kickoff, and I'll discuss Chapman Wave methodology here. But what's really important is that on the cash, the S&P has gone to that fourth highest uh, leg up. It's leg D. That's very important. Look at the Q. The QQQ has only gone to a leg C. It should have a pullback in the next day or two and then pop to another high. And then we've got to be a little bit careful for when we get to that leg D in the NDX 100 trading vehicle. You're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000 yesterday, had a spectacular move. Um, it ran all the way to the 233 and 96 area or just a little higher. 234.53 is the all-time high. But if you go to the futures, you can see that the futures right now are at I believe, yep, they're at a new all-time high. Let me just double-check because we're talking pennies here. We're talking about in March, the high was 2358.60. And so far today, we're at 2364. Oh, we're almost there. 68, geez, just another couple of points and we'll get there in the Russell 2000 futures. Okay, let's go to gold. Uh, gold at this particular point is down a little bit. It's down four at 1791. It's just been stuck in this range between 1813 and 1770s. Uh, we'll see if it's going to be able to break out. If you look at the dollar, the dollar's actually held towards its highs. It's at 93.91. It's up two ticks at this particular point. 94.56 was that peak that was made on the 12th of October. So it's it's also within the range. But really, what we want to look at here is the TLT, and we'll talk about that when I get back for Tommy's show in a few minutes um, it's at 146.44 I give you the parameters to look for for yields in the meantime the yields are stuck in this range and that's going to be very important we're also going to be looking at crude oil crude oil is down just six ticks at this at this point at 83.98 huh very interesting fascinating week coming up 